What's up everyone? It's Paige. If you want to know my thoughts and opinions on artistic gymnastics at Pan Ams 2019, keep watching. I will leave timestamps down below in the description box, so if there's anything specific you want to hear my opinion on, feel free to skip around. So most importantly, um, through all of the athletes Instagrams that I follow, the USA Gymnastics athletes, um, it seemed like they all had a really good time at Pan Ams, and that's awesome. It looks like they met a bunch of different like athletes from different disciplines around the world, and that looks like it's so much fun. It's not all about the medals and all that stuff. Um, like there's other things that go into these events, and I think part of it is getting to experience people different people from like all around the world. So, yay! I do think it is awesome that Bart and Kathy were commentating. I was like so stoked when I read that over on the balance beam situation. And, um, that was awesome. I was only able to watch the commentary with Bart and Kathy for the team finals and the other events I watched the Spanish broadcast I found myself not like overreacting to things like when something bad would happen when there's American commentators I feed off of their like reaction to things and I also want to touch on good old Tommy good old Tommy boy um Tom Forster I know that he I don't know if he I haven't I really haven't read a lot about how people are reacting to the games um so I'm not sure what people are saying about Tom as soon as I saw the way things are going down I was wondering if Tom is gonna be under scrutiny for the way that he picked the lineups and everything which I personally I'm okay with it um I really like the transparency of explaining like how how he picked the lineups, how they basically earned them through training. They're just like magical way you're supposed to like please him or something. So I like the tra I think the transparency should be standard and not some like amazing revelation about like oh my god they're actually telling us what's going on. <laughs> um, however with that being said I will always remain critical of him. I will remain critical of anybody in a leadership position at USA Gymnastics. Um, I think the athletes deserve it. I think that there were people, there, people were not, people took things for face value for way too long and I'm not saying everyone, but I'm just saying like in general. So I'm not taking these little Facebook posts and cute pictures for face value, um, that'd be like taking one of those fluff pieces about Marta for face value. Um, and I just think that things can be easily manipulated over the internet and through camera. And you can manipulate people's perceptions of how things are very easily, especially now through the internet. So what I'm trying to say is I'm not swayed by some cute Facebook posts. I'm, I just, I, I still am, I'm still not sure even what he's doing to help them with their f fatigue between now and doing the classics Pan Am's nationals back to back. I'm still not even sure they're tough. Don't discount the American girl. Well, there were fall. there were mistakes, there were falls, what, like you have, what, there's, to a degree, you're gonna have to explain yourself. Um, so, yeah, I'm curious what that explanation will be, and hopefully, it's better than "don't discount the American girl." So, nationals is in a week, and I'm mainly worried for Riley and Kara. Are they still planning on doing the all around? Um, I. I personally don't think that um, 
Riley or Morgan should vault because their vaults are very scary. Riley's vault has scared me for a while. There's been a bunch of times where she just like collapsed on it. She gets zero dis distance, like not enough height. Um, I don't. I she knew, either needs to work on her technique. Um, same thing with Morgan, or they need to do a different vault because it's. It's scary. It's scary. And someone's gonna get hurt. Morgan's hand almost missed the table. Like, that's not... That's not a joke. Like, when... It's like when Riley's ponytail hit the beam. Like, that's not... It's... It's terrifying. Um, I don't want anyone getting severely hurt. So... I think the main things that need to be addressed immediately are Riley and Morgan's block... Block for their vault. I don't know what the solution is. I don't know that much about gymnastics like that. <laughs> so, um, but that I, I don't know if they're coaches. It's on their coaches. I don't know if it's on Tom. Um, but it, that's definitely something I would like to see fixed. I, the next time I see one of them do a vault, I don't want it to look anything like how they've been doing vaults. It's scary. What, what I'm wondering is would it be smart, a more sm like a wiser decision to not do the all around both nights if you're Kara, Riley, or Morgan? Um, I, I don't foresee them hitting eight for eight routines. Um, that's just a lot of competing and Although I would love to see, like, I would love to see Ry Riley and Kara kind of like redeem themselves. Like their their performances, in my opinion, were by no means a disappointment. They were amazing bright spots. Look at all the medals they won. Um, but knowing USA Gymnastics, it's there. It's it's gold, gold, gold all the time. So and they didn't they didn't win all the golds. <laughs> they didn't win all the golds. I would like to see um, Morgan, Riley, and Kara not go not go as hard at nationals and then just save it for the selection camp for worlds. But then at the same time, like is doing is having this rigorous schedule good prep for them? for next year for the Olympic process. I don't know. Or is this just too much and they're already going to be burnt out before then? I don't know. I'm also curious, I wonder, because my feeling is like, there's going to be, we're going to have like all these, <laughs> not all, there's only a few, like all these like jet lagged um, athletes from Pan Ams at nationals and then like is Grace gonna look like fresh as a daisy? And like how is that gonna play into her favor? Is that gonna make her look like maybe she's not really better than the rest of them, but is she gonna look so much better because she's all fresh? But then at the same time, she didn't get she missed out on the like Pan Am op opportunity to just like experience that. So there's pros and cons to everything, and I'm excited to see how it's all going to play out. I would be lying if I said I wasn't worried about the athletes that just competed at the Pan Ams and how their performance is going to be at Nationals. Um, we'll see. Stay tuned for my videos about that. Moving on to the fun part the most fun part in my opinion. Um, all the different performances by the different gymnasts. So I'm going to start off with some of my faves from the competition. Obviously Flavia is a favorite. She just, I, I absolutely adore her and her gymnastics. It, like she, I'm so, I'm so glad that she decided to do gymnastics with her life. It was wonderful watching Flavia. I was so disappointed for her during the beam final. 
but then I was like, I hope she just like comes back and kills it on floor, and then she did, and she got a bronze, and I was like so happy. I just love watching her. I love watching her. I, she has, I love her toe point, I love her form, I love her spirit, I love, I just love, I love everything about her. Um, makeup, her makeup's on point, everything. Uh, she is, she's everything. She's everything. And I can't wait to see her in Tokyo because I have no doubt she will be on that team. I discovered from Argentina, Argentina, Martina Dominici. I had never seen her gymnastics before, if, or if I had, like at a World Cup or something, I guess I didn't take note because she's awesome. I I was so impressed. Um, I think they, I feel like she definitely helped their performance in the team final. They almost got on the podium. Um, but yeah, she's, she's great. I'm trying to think. She's just like a really good all-around gymnast. There wasn't really an event that she really stood out on. She's just all around really solid and I really enjoyed watching her gymnastics. Like, um, every time I would, like, she's in a final or the all-around, I was like so rooting for her to get a medal. But it didn't happen. There was like, um, some little mistakes here and there and the field was just a little bit too strong. But I will definitely be keeping an eye out for her at uh, future gymnastics competitions and I wish her all the best. And I followed her on Instagram. Denusha Francis was there and that was so cool. I was so... I, wanted, I actually wanted her to win Beam, which I know probably would have meant that like Kara made some mistakes or whatever. But I don't care. Whatever. Dream podiums are that. They're just a dream. So. I wanted her to win the beam final, but that didn't happen, and I was so heartbroken, but I just love her beam routine, beam routine, and I love her dismount, oh my god, it's like my favorite thing ever. I was also really impressed by Thais Videlis' performance. She has gotten so consistent over the last few years. I. I can definitely see her making the team for Brazil for Tokyo. Um, yeah, she just, I don't even remember her making like a major mistake. I was really impressed by her performance and she's gotten so consistent over the last few years. I'm excited to see how things play out in the next year for her. And her first pass on floor is awesome. For the women's team final, I'm mainly going to be talking about session 1 and session 3 since those are the sessions Canada and the United States and Brazil were in. So Canada had a, a pretty good performance. They did exactly what they needed to do. Um, and it was really cool watching Team Jamaica and seeing Tony Ann Williams out there. And I hope she's feeling better. And I love Denisha Francis. So, yeah, that was cool. And then session three, everything basically went as expected. So during the team final, uh, Riley and Morgan had like the, what I would call scary vaults. Um, but other than that, everything pretty much went as expected. Team USA won by like 10 points or something crazy. Um, I was, during the beginning of session three, I was screaming at my TV to play the um, beam routines or to show the beam routines from Team USA like don't get me wrong go Peru they, it was cool that they were showing the home country and all that but I would much have rather seen all of Team USA beams or team be, be, <laughs> I would have rather seen Team USA beam routines than Peru on floor. Sorry. So I was really disappointed by that. And then not only that, they had like five minutes of Flavia waiting to go on vault. Which her vault was really nice, but I was like, 
can we show something else? But um, I feel like the coverage got better as it went on. I was like, oh my god, oh my god, we have we have NBC coverage up in here, but I it like got significantly better of just like going from like routine to routine honestly throughout the entire competition because by the time like event finals day two came around they were just like bouncing back and forth between athletes I was like oh my god I had to like hurry up and like sprint during bathroom breaks and stuff so um yeah I mean they kept that stuff kept it moving and I can't fault them for that but at the beginning I was like oh my god oh my god go to the beam um, I also want to comment, I was severely disappointed to the point where I was getting, like, very angry in how slow some of the judging was on Beam and, like, Palm Horse and those kind of, like, super focused events. Um, when you have an athlete wait for, like, seven minutes, and obviously I'm exaggerating, but when you have an athlete waiting for, like, multiple minutes before they're supposed to go do a Beam routine, do you think they're gonna hit it? I don't. And that's exactly what happened. Um, so that, I, that was terrible. And it definitely affected the athletes that had to wait like a ridi ridiculous amount of time for the judges. And then on top of that, the judging was just weird. Um, I thought it was extremely generous compared to what I've been seeing at World Cup and World Championships, this quad. Uh, yeah, we'll get more into that <laughs> a little bit, little bit later. Um, and then some of it was like, ac like it was weird. Like some of it was like accurate, like okay. And then some of it was like, why are these like? It's Ashley Priest here. <laughs> um, yeah. So that was weird. Moving on to the women's all-around final, I thought that Riley had a way better vault than the team final, but I, it still scares me. Um, Kara ha pretty much seems like she can just dial it in and stick that one and a half vault almost every time. Uh, she does lose her, in the last half twist, like totally lose it, there's like a full on knee bend, and I think that's part of why it help it helps her to stick it every time. So I would like to see that improved, but other than that, uh, that's just like, yeah, I'm kind of, I'm kind of partial to one and a half uh, Yurchenkos, I don't know why, I just think they look, look really cool. I just like front facing blind landings, okay, leave me alone. Um, that was the best bar routine I've seen Kara do, probably ever. And then Riley fell on her bars, which I, like I mentioned earlier, I wasn't that, I, she had done it in the warm-ups, so I kind of was like, I don't want to be like I was expecting it to happen, but I was expecting it to happen, so, um, but that, yeah, that was a bummer, because I know, I know, we all know she can hit that routine, so that was a bummer. Um, and I thought, like, whenever, uh, like, Kara and Riley were, like, making some mistakes, I was like, man, Morgan's punching the air right now. But, like, not really, because who knows, I don't know what her reaction was. Um, <laughs> but I was just, like, choking around, like. By the time it came around for Beam, I feel like it was definitely Kara's gold to lose, and I think she felt that pressure and fell on that godforsaken mount which then she hit in the beam final. So the thing I can say about that mount is that it's inconsistent, obviously. Um, now, I'm not like one of those people that's like, oh my god, take it out now! And replace it with just like um, popping your butt up on the beam and then starting the routine. Like, I'm sorry, I just think that's hideous, but that's me, and I know everyone's focused on just getting up on the beam and don't risk it, but I don't know, I like risks. At this point, the most I can say about that is that 
her her beam mount is inconsistent and I think she definitely needs to work on the consistency of that under extreme pressure meets before I would even recommend performing that at the Olympics if she ever gets to that level. Um, and then she felt the mistakes from being for Kara carried over to floor, unfortunately, and she fell on floor. I thought Riley had a really nice bounce back from that fall on bars, but I fortunately it wasn't enough. I know there was some um, technical issues, difficulty, score problems with Riley, with her floor. Um, something like that. Something didn't get all the way around, like one of the leaps didn't get all the way around, so it was downgraded, which affected her difficulty score. Like I said, I'm not, I'm not a big like technical code of points nerd, at least not yet, so I'm not too sure on all that, but apparently that's what happened, cause, and that's why the inquiry was filed and then denied. So, um, I, I, w I was okay with the results, the final results of Ellie being first, Riley being second, and Flavia being third. I actually was super happy for Flavia. Um, like, I was super sad for Kara, but super happy for Flavia, I'm not even gonna lie. And so, I definitely think that the, that all-around final did not go how people thought it was gonna go. I'm sure people had, like, Ry going like Riley, then Kara, then Ellie or Flavia or something, so I, I don't know. I was pretty happy with the podium. And then I totally thought um, Shallon Olsen was going to win the vault final, and so that was pretty shocking. She had a pretty big mistake on her second vault, and it her like a big lunge forward and her chest is really low, so no. Nah. Um, I also one or I thought wasn't Aaliyah supposed to be in the vault final? I thought I thought Aaliyah made it into the vault final, but I mean I don't know. Does anyone know what happened with that? Was I imagining that? I I'm not sure. <laughs> and then um the uneven bars final I really wanted Leanne to win. Um I don't know, it was so close between her and Riley. I honestly think it came down to Riley benefited from going after Leanne and the judges being kind of like, which I don't know, okay. Cause Leanne was like short on a couple of handstands, but I thought Riley had some major form errors when she was doing all of her connections in the middle of her routine. So I don't know, I guess it could have gone either way, but I really wanted Leanne to win. And then I think that there's, n I don't know how Ellie won the bronze, that was like the worst bar routine execution wise of the day, in my opinion. Um, I think Lorraine Oliveira was, was robbed, to be completely honest, of, of a bronze medal. And I would love to know what you think, comment down below if you agree or disagree with me on that. Um, that's what I think. And moving on to the beam final, I my dream podium was Danusha winning, Flavia in second, and then Kara in third. Um, but that didn't happen. But I was really happy with how the podium turned out. Um, actually, no, I wasn't because I don't think I think Riley was really overscored on her beam routine. She got. A 7.2 execution with a fall on her dismount and two huge bobbles. And I always like to think that I always, what I always do is add in the fall and see what their execution would have been like. So if she didn't have the fall, her execution would have been 8.2 with like two huge bobbles. I don't think so. Uh, like the 7.2 was generous. Just like the 8.1 execution score on um, Ellie's uneven bars was very generous. Um, 
so I kind of kind of wasn't too stoked on the beam podium but I'm really happy for Kara to redeem herself also that 15.266 like thanks I'll take it but that That would have never scored a 15.26 anywhere other than that competition or at the U.S. Nationals the Classic or whatever. So I was so happy for Brooklyn winning the floor final. I honestly was like, finally, I didn't wanting her to get like a gold medal for that floor routine for either of her floor routines. Um, uh, since yeah this whole quad and like it was really funny because after the medal ceremony she kind of like looked down at, at her gold medal and kind of had this look like hmm I could get used to this and yeah I'm just I was so stoked for her super happy for Flavia um especially coming back after the beam final and going straight to floor and having to be first up and I think she killed it and I'm so glad she was able to hang on because I was really scared since she's going first that she would get the curse of being like slightly underscored and so I'm so glad that she held on or her score held on through all the competitors and yeah overall I think this was a really exciting competition I it was surprising things didn't just go all as expected okay now um, I'm going to talk about the men. Okay, so first off, the most shocking thing for me, for the men, and honestly of the entire competition, was that Artur Zanetti did not win the rings final. I, like, of all things, of all events, of all people, of all, all disciplines, I, I for sure thought that was a lock um, and he had a huge break in his routine in one of his handstands during the rings final and I was like that as soon as I saw it I was like that may have opened the door but it and and it did it was super close um, big congrats to Fabian de Luna of Mexico for for winning because he probably did not that day when he woke up, he probably did not think he's me winning uh, rings with uh, Zanetti in the field. So that was an awesome, that was an exciting rings final, which that phrase doesn't get said very often. Uh, I was heartbroken for Brody Malone during the team final. He had a complete meltdown on high bar, and I think he. I think he fell three times, or he definitely fell twice and almost fell a third time. And I was just like, <laughs> I would have liked to see Brody Malone win some sort of individual medal just to like redeem himself. Um, but he placed fifth in the all around, which is awesome. I really wanted Arthur Nori to win. He, I fell in love with him at Rio, and he's just he was killing it. And I felt so bad because he just, he got silver a couple times and I so wanted him to get gold, but it's not meant to be. Um, so I love watching him compete. His gymnastics, it just has like this, like, this just like extra little touch to it. And I love his execution and I love like his presentation, like his presence. Um, I just really enjoy his gymnastics and I was really happy for all of his success and I love seeing how supportive he is of his teammates and just so happy for the success of Brazil. It was really beautiful to watch. Yeah, and I really I really wanted um, Artur Nori to win the high bar final and I feel like I feel like he kept getting the curse of going earlier in the lineup and then someone going later and getting a slightly better score because it was so close a couple times where he won silver and someone else won a gold and I was just like ah. so 
Yeah, but the men's high bar final was a really great competition, like most high bar finals are. But um, I don't even think anyone fell, which is which is really cool. It's a really fun competition to watch, and I can't wait. It's got me so excited for the Olympics. I'm so pumped for Tokyo. And definitely come back for some more gymnastics videos. And I need to go do the dishes and take a shower. Thanks for watching. Bye!